get bigger and better and, you know, more adventurous and more than you've ever seen. Aux frontières de la mort et de l'imagination se déroule une aventure qui entrera Attention dans l'éternité. I've never done a sequel to my own movies, let alone someone else's movie. So the buzzword, the word that got me hooked to read the script was China. The mummy goes to China. Now the whole world focus on China because the Olympic, because something Chinese economy grew up very fast. Everybody look at China, China, China. So this time the story happened in China. I really enjoy working with Rob is because he has great and healthy respect for the Chinese culture. Uh, it started off with the Book of the Dead and you know when I first read the script I'm like we don't have the Book of the Dead that sounds Egyptian right? <laughs> uh, but very quickly you know he caught on to then uh, and the oracle bone actually exists you know it was used in those times and nobody is quite sure what it was really really used for so it's I love that the, the way fact and fiction has been sort of like molded together this third one is going to be something that you couldn't even imagine Rob Cohen um, decided to take this franchise to a whole different level um, so there's more fantasy in it there's more adventure there's more action <laughs> It's a family story with a whole lot of action going on all around them. And what do they need to do? Well, set things right because there's a mummy on the loose again. And who are you going to call? <laughs> <laughs> but the O'Connells. This is such a family film. My seven-year-old can't wait to see it. It's that sort of film that, you know, little kids and teenagers and adults and even senior citizens will really, really get a kick out of. La momie, la tombe de l'Empereur Dragon.